Back when Dead Eye Dan was still alive, him and me was all the time swapping things. Me and Cutworm was talking about this on the, on the internet. About how back in the old days, Cutworm, uh, uh, Dead Eye'd have something and he'd say, Oh, I'd look so much better at your place than it does at mine. And, and I'd have something with about the same thought in mind. And I'd wind up hauling my stuff over there and he'd haul his stuff over here. And we was just having a big time up until the point he died. And then that kind of ruined it all. But anyway, me and Cutworm got to talking the other night. He's sold a big old piece of property. And he's having to move a lot of stuff around. And he don't have quite the kind of room that he used to have for all this stuff. And we got to talking this and that. And it kind of occurred to us that we could do a little swapping too. Uh, which today is all going to be about getting ready for me to make a trip to Arkansas to haul Cutworm some stuff and then I'm gonna bring back some stuff and here's what we got to thinking some of y'all that's been paying attention for a long time know that honey baby had a little 61 or 2 Volkswagen that got crashed and after it crashed I told her I'd build her another one so I started building one and I got this one here this one's a rolling pan it's drivable and I got two bodies for it back there, and I got all manner of fenders and parts for it. And Cutworm's got a real nice looking little yellow convertible that just needs a pan rolled up under it and drop that pan on it and drive it away. And this is a drivable pan here. And we decided I'm gonna load this project up. I'm gonna load this up and all the pieces and parts I got that would be of value to him and I'm going to haul this all out to Arkansas, and then I'm going to haul back a little Crosley, which will take up a lot less space in my shop. It'll give me one less project to work on, because that Crosley's pretty much done. Uh, and he'll have one of his cars that's sitting on a trailer or, or on a sawhorse or something on something that rolls around and drives, which will make his space issue a little better and I'll have one less project scattered around I got pieces and parts all scattered up on them shelves and all over there and all out in that other ship shed and a whole bunch of stuff out there I got bodies sitting in here I ain't yet decided if I'm gonna haul one or two one of them bodies out there or just haul the pan without the body I'm kind of leaning toward and we talked about this where he's already got so many Volkswagens, I'm leaning toward not hauling another body out there and just selling these off and whatever I get for him, just sending the money from that. So anyway, what today's gonna be about is first of all, I, I need to unload the truck. Secondly, I need to get the snow tires off of it and put the regular tires on it. Thirdly, I need to load that truck with all this Volkswagen stuff I got. Fourthly, I wanna crank this thing and get it out there and driving around a little bit and then hook it to the truck. I need to rig some lights on it and rig a tag on it. And then we can haul this baby out to Cutworm and I might be able to help him drop his car right on top of that while I'm out there, who knows. But that's kind of what today's gonna be all about. It's supposed to warm up today. It's up about 40-ish now. Uh, so, so that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna, uh, back of this truck is full of winter stuff and by winter stuff I mean in the winter time up here people put stuff in the back of their truck that's heavy to give them some traction so I got a big sheet of steel in there and some blocks and some boulders and some biscuits and some of this is just garbage so all of this is coming out and then these snow tires are coming off regular tires are going on it and then I'm gonna come around in here and I'm gonna start loading up all this Volkswagen stuff I got out here. I'm thinking all these fenders can go to him. I got a, a whole engine and transmission over there. A whole lot of sheet metal parts. I got some, some new parts in boxes that I don't even know what they are. I'm gonna have to look through them and see what they are. But they're all going. So that's the plan. So with that said, I'm gonna stop talking. I'm gonna start working. See, there's a nice gas tank. He needs a gas tank for one of his. And there's some other parts up under there. 
odds and ends and this and that. It's all going. It's all going. It's all going. All going out to cut worm. Yeah, it is. Woohoo!